பார்த்தீங்கன்னா சம் டூ இந்த சம் ஸோ ஆக்சுவலி வி ஸ்டார்டட் ஆஸ் ஏ சம் அப்கிரேட் ரைட் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் எஸ் அசூம் திஸ் இஸ் அவர் ஹோஸ்ட் திஸ் இஸ் அவர் ஹோஸ்ட் ஹியர் இன் தட் ஹோஸ்ட் யூ ஹேவ் த எஸ்ஐபி சிஸ்டம் இஸ் ரன்னிங் ஆன் ஹியர் ரைட் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் அ எஸ்ஐபி சிஸ்டம் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் த டேட்டா பேஸ் திஸ் இஸ் த டேட்டா பேஸ் ஹியர் ஸோ இன்சைட் ஆஃப் த டேட்டா பேஸ் வி ஹேவ் த ரிப்பாசிட்ரி ரைட் தென் வி ஹேவ் த ஸோ அப்ளிகேஷன் டேபிள்ஸ் ரிப்பாசிட்ரி அண்ட் அப்ளிகேஷன் டேபிள்ஸ் ஆர் ஹியர் ரைட் அப்ளிகேஷன் டேபிள்ஸ் ஆர் ஹியர் ரிப்பாசிட்ரி அண்ட் அப்ளிகேஷன் டேபிள்ஸ் ஆர் ஹியர் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் த ரிப்பாசிட்ரி சோர்ஸ் லைக் பிஆர்டி ஸோ சோர்ஸ் ரிப்பாசிட்ரி சோர்ஸ் ரிப்பாசிட்ரி ஸோ திஸ் ஆல் ஆர் த அப்ளிகேஷன் டேபிள்ஸ் ஹியர் திஸ் ஆல் ஆர் த அப்ளிகேஷன் டேபிள்ஸ் ஹியர் அப்ளிகேஷன் அப்ளிகேஷன் டேபிள்ஸ் ஹியர் திஸ் ஆல் ஆர் த அப்ளிகேஷன் டேபிள்ஸ் ஹியர் ரைட் திஸ் இஸ் சோர்ஸ் ரிப்பாசிட்ரி அண்ட் அப்ளிகேஷன் டேபிள்ஸ் ஹியர் ஸோ ஹியர் வி ஹாவ் த ஸோ சோர்ஸ் கேர்னல் ஹியர் வி ஹாவ் த சோர்ஸ் கேர்னல் மீன்ஸ் அவர் எஸ்ஐபி சிஸ்டம் இஸ் ரன்னிங் ஆன் த கேர்னல் ஸோ ரைட் ஸோ தட்ஸ் வை ஐ மென்ஷன் ஆஸ் ஏ சோர்ஸ் கேர்னல் ஹியர் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் த எஸ்ஐபி திஸ் இஸ் த எஸ்ஐபி ஹியர் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் த டேட்டா பேஸ் ஹியர் எஸ்ஐபி அண்ட் டிபி ஹியர் ஸோ நவ் வாட்ஸ் ஹேப்பனிங் ஹியர் ஜோ வி ஆர் பிளானிங் டு டூ த அப்கிரேட் வி ஆர் பிளானிங் டு டூ த அப்கிரேட் ஹியர் திஸ் இஸ் யுவர் கரண்ட் சினாரியோ ஹியர் யு ஆர் பிளானிங் டு டூ த அப்கிரேட் எஸ்ஐபி அப்கிரேட் யு ஆர் பிளானிங் டு டூ ஹியர் எஸ்ஐபி அப்கிரேட் யு ஆர் பிளானிங் டு டூ ஹியர் ஸோ ஃபார் திஸ் ஒன் ஃபார் திஸ் ஒன் யூ ஹாவ் யூ ஹாவ் ஏ சினாரியோ யூ ஹாவ் ஏ யூ ஹாவ் ஏ சம் டூல் ஹியர் யூ ஹாவ் ஏ சம் டூல் ஹியர் then you have a sap host agent also available here right why because some will not directly talk to the our sap system same as like yesterday's one right so sa sap ha like host agent here so some will connect to the host agent this host agent will connect to the our sap system to perform the upgrade so here we started as we started the sum tool how we know how to start the sum tool here so then uh, then we have the sum start config host agent and here then sum started here once the sum started here so then so we have the we, we have provided the user id and the passwords we provided to the sum tool once we provide the user id passwords to the sum tool here so what happened so we have start, uh, once the user id passwords we provided to the sum tool it's connected to the our sap system then it will proceed with the next step here then we have the some steps here some roadmap steps here so scenario strategy what type of scenario is it like a so is it like a, a single system we are the three types of single single system so standard standard system then so advanced advanced means downtime optimized scenario single means some will directly will do the upgrade on the main system there is a longer downtime why because directly it is updating here while updating sap system will not be available so it will be so some uh, it will be so some downtime here longer downtime standard or advanced some will create the standard or advanced some will create the one parallel to the original system same ditto of the some will create the one shadow instance will be created so this instance will run on the shadow kernel here shd kernel here shadow shd kernel here shd kernel means shadow kernel here so this is the shadow instance this is the shadow instance here shadow system why because you selected as a you selected as a so standard or advanced some will create shadow system here so then what will happen so we have the road map steps road map steps here road map steps like so extraction then so configuration so checks fourth one so pre processing then fifth one so then execution then sixth one the post processing here so what exactly happens here in the extraction phase so some will check the all the packages which you downloaded will the sub packages it will check all the software which you downloaded then it will scan it it will extract it so and also it will start preparing the shadow kernel so that activities will do in the extraction phase in the configuration phase so configuration of the parameters like uptime how many parameters 
down time how many parameters parameters means up time how many uh, above process down time how many above process r3 load process sql process r3 trans process how many is required then uh, s gen is required or not missing note implementations and if any nodes are missing, system will detect. We need to implement the missing nodes. All those things will detect in the configuration phase here. SPDD, SPAU, any CTS plus transports, all this will ask in the here. Then checks phase. It will check the free space. And it will check the free space and all those things which will verify it in the checks phase here. In the checks phase, it will verify the all the information and everything here in the checks phase here in the checks phase it will verify the all those things here right that is the checks phase here so then pre-processing phase here checks phase means free space at sap level db level also it will check the any open field update records or any transactional rfc's are filled or not it will check in the pre-processing and then in the pre-processing phase in the pre-processing phase what will happen it will create the shadow repository means same as like source repository it will create the one shadow repository will be created at db level same to same so then this will call it as the shadow repository shd repository here shd repository it will create as a shadow repository here right shadow repository here in the shadow repository source repository to shadow repository here in the shadow repository so so in the pre-processing what will happen it will create the shadow repository shadow instance will be created then why because it's created with the empty but there is no data here so then what will happen then your original repository to shadow repository the data copy will happen here original to shadow the data copy will happen here right original to shadow that's why while doing this one pre-processing phase, we will get that. Do you want to lock the our development environment? Why? Because while copying the data here, data already copied. Some of the developers he already logged in, do the some changes here. Then there is a mismatch version of the data, right? So that's the reason. So we have the so we, it will lock the development repository. System will lock it. So then mm, there is no changes in the repository. Why? Because first shadow has to be updated, right? Then in this case, shadow has to be updated here. So that is the reason data should be copied here. Then while while it is doing the shadow operations, all the red light items, your main system is available for the users. Then they can log into their SAP system. They can do the transactions and everything here, except development related activities here. In the production, we will not do any developments, right? So that's fine. So there is no business downtime here. So then it will copy the data from source repository to so the shadow repository it will copy the data here right so once it is copy the data here once it is copy the data to the here then what will happen some will some will start the your some will start the your shadow system here shd start so then some will start the shadow system here via host agent not here so via host agent this is also host agent only via host agent some will start the some will connect to the shadow system then it will start upgrading the shadow system first. It will not do main system here. It will start upgrading the shadow system first. Once the shadow, everything is upgraded, then so pre-processing is completed, then system will ask us to do the SPDD here, data dictionary objects. So data dictionary means, so data dictionary object, the SPDD adjustments here. Here, the developer will log into the, the 000 client, so one of the user, with the shadow system they will log in they will do the adjustments here once done it we have the pre-processing is completed then execution phase here then execution phase here then execution phase will start why because once the pre-processing what will happen all the red lines which means so your repository will be source repository will be locked data will be copied to the your shadow repository then system will be started shadow repository shadow system will be started shadow system will be upgraded as for the your patches it will be upgraded to the here then once done it here as part of this configuration what will happen so once the shadow is upgraded then pre-processing will be completed then execution phase what will happen whatever the data it got upgraded here same data it will be reverse copy to the your main system why because this is the upgraded data right 
it will be reverse copy then all the application tables will be upgraded or migrated or converted to the your new version of the tables here so these two things will happen in the execution phase when it's going to the execution phase your main system will be stopped status your main system will be stopped status why because data is copying back to the your own source system so the system should not be stay live here it should be stopped status here then application tables also will be converted here application tables also will be so will not be available here application tables also will be converted so that is the reason your main while system is up and running you cannot do anything here that's why your that's why execution phase is the downtime phase up to 1 2 3 4 we can run it in the weekdays and fifth step is the downtime phase which means off business hours means saturday or sunday we can run in the execution phase saturday sunday we can run it in the execution phase here well, because Saturday Sunday there is no much business here. So we can run it in the Saturday or Sunday. So we can run it in the weekends. We can run it here. So here we can stop the SAP system. Users cannot access. Users cannot do anything here. Then so some companies they will say like upgrade is in progress or maintenance activities are in progress. Please so accept the delay something like that. They will send the messages to the all the users or customers. They will send the messages here. Similar way here we have also same concept here same concept similar here okay so that is the so concept of the so upgrade and so here so then once the execution is completed we have the 14 days time then we can perform the spau here spau we can perform in the main system here spau we can perform in the main system here spau here spau we can perform in the main system here spau we can perform in the main system here spau means repository repository objects here repository objects here spdd means data dictionary objects here right those are the spdd spau here right so this is the during the technical upgrade this spdd spau phases will come here spdd spau functions phases will come here right these are the functional things here functional things here so functional team will are developer developers things here developers will decide and developer will do we will not do anything here so here the people may ask you in where you have to perform the spdd where you have to perform the spau so spdd we have to perform in the end of the p processing in the shadow system we have to perform in the triple zero client so why because in the shadow only triple zero client is available so in the main system so spau we have offer to perform after the upgrade we have to perform the sp so au we have to perform it here right so those things we need to do it here right spdd spau here right spdd is a customer changes here customer customer so here we have to in this what we have to do means here the developer is used to this transaction code spdd spau to decide whether they keep the changes into the customer has made to the objects or they have been modified by the upgrade they have to keep it or they have to reset they will use it in this phases here they will use it in the phases here that's why we have the spdd spau here so dd means data dictionary objects here data dictionary objects here au means repository objects au means repository objects repository means programs reports structures so these are the data dictionary means tables uh, classes so all those things will come under the repository here data dictionary here okay those will comes under the here so data dictionary means so it's kind of elements tables structures so these will comes under the here so au means repository screens reports functional modules thus will comes under the so au spau and spdd here so this will happen entire doing the sum upgrade any upgrade release upgrade or sp upgrade or anything so this is the overall procedure will happen here so here p processing is the shadow system creation shadow will be upgraded here execution phase is the main system data copy and everything here so only data copyright this will not take much time so downtime will not take the much time here then post processing post processing your shadow system will be deleted so your main system will be available for the users here that will happen in the so in the so post processing activities here the main steps are here P processing and execution steps actual work done P processing is the shadow execution is the our main system here execution is the our main system here okay so those things you need to remember here this is about the entire sum upgrade so as part of the working here so 
you will get the as part of this thing here so you will come to know here so what is the so uh, like uh, like what is the means like uh, uh, where the shadow system will be created right in the primary application server so in the pre processing yeah, pre processing what will happen in the execution what will happen what is the port number how to check the logs some logs in you know, some utilities we can check it out so all those things we have we need to check it out here. All those things we have to check it out in the systems here, right? All those things we need to check it out here. So let me log in. Why it is processing status? Uh, yeah, this is the this is the entire some upgrade activities here. Okay, this is the entire some upgrade activity. What will happen and everything here. So then we can progress the. So I think we are in the configuration for so we can progress the remaining activities here. So now we know what will happen in the each and every phases here. This will happen here. Okay, so these things you should remember about the. So some from one version to another version or patch upgrade or anything. What will happen? So. Uh, when the main system will be done, why the main system will be done, what is the reason. While main system is on, the data will not, data will, data copy will not happen. That's why the main system will be stopped status here. Okay. So that is about the 